Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's flow class. This morning, we're going to get started in a comfortable... Bee Yoga and Wellness in Burlington has shifted to teaching classes online through every lockdown to help keep the studio open. They even added a large monitor to be able to watch their students and correct posture. Monica Angelatos says the love of yoga has helped keep her going. I know uh, the value of it. I know what it can do for people. I love being able to share that. And I think that's really the one thing that's uh, kept us in business, really, is that true belief uh, about, about what this means and what it, what it can do, and especially during these times. For me, the practice of yoga is the thing that has helped me, I think, hang on to the studio for as long as we've been able to hang on. We have a really great energy exchange program, so that sort of cuts back on our costs uh, a, a bit. Um, students who are dedicated to their practice can exchange their uh, time and energy uh, for classes. That helps us to sort of, you know, keep costs down a little bit. But it hasn't been enough. After lockdowns lift, clientele haven't come back, and the studio has lost 80% of their members. But despite everything that we do with all of our sanitizing stations and um, masking and all the following all the protocols, still people have had resistance and hesitation. I mean, I don't really blame them. The lost income has her wondering where this month's rent will come from. The support that the government has been uh, providing us with has been, you know, like, I'm grateful, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, unfortunately hasn't really been an enough. The $10,000 that we're receiving is really just, it's not even covering my rent. I, I, I just don't even know, you know, what am I going to pay first with that? I'm, I'm in arrears. Having watched three comparably sized studios permanently close in the area, this latest lockdown has been particularly disheartening. In an online post hoping for continued support, they asked members to consider moving their practice online. Once we do get some momentum, then, you know, another wave shuts us down again. And so, you know, we're constantly having to rev up and then, you know, we get shut down. And uh, that's um, um, been really sort of detrimental to the business. It's been, you know, very, very hard. And I, I, honestly, I don't know how many more lockdowns uh, we can we can take. You know, there's there's going to be a limit to how much um, how much funding I can have access to. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.